to the core connection i'm mira rubin here with you on enlightened world network and today's topic is subtleties we often experience what we think are subtle changes in our being our perception our experience of ourselves and our lives and it seems subtle and yet if we trace the trajectory over time the the difference becomes quite radical so it should be an interesting conversation to be recognizing the subtleties and and utilizing them uh and good morning, good morning, Rosalind. Welcome. So good to have you here this morning. Uh, before we get started with our chat, let's take a minute or two to get present. So let's take a deep breath in through your nose and hold it. And imagine clean, crisp oxygen flooding your lungs, flowing into your bloodstream, nourishing all your cells, your organs, bringing vital life energy to your body and being. And as you exhale, exhale any tension, stress, negativity, fatigue. And now let's take another deep breath in through your nose and hold it. This time, imagine brilliant, bright light, lighting you up from the inside out, illuminating, electrifying, and energizing all your cells, your molecules, your electrons, and creating a brilliant beam of light and energy from your heart out into the world. And as you exhale, exhale any remaining tension, stress, negativity, fatigue. And now let's press our palms together Vigorously rub your hands together to feel the friction, the temperature, the pressure, the motion, the tickling and tingling when you stop. And allow all those sensations to bring you present right here, right now, into this remarkable physical form that enables you to experience life. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So subtleties, that's what we're up to. Um, I find it really fascinating in the core connection work that I do, uh, the coaching work that people will say that the change is subtle. And when, when we think about, I, I think about this in terms of the underlying fabric of our lives of our of our being and if we can think of this fabric as a tapestry the the shift the shift of um i'm trying to figure out how to make this analogy work i don't know if it's going to work so well but um, so we could, we could, I, I have done weaving and um, what I notice is that one thread can change. Like if, you, if you get the threading different somehow or the treadling different, then, then that one thing, that one line is, it may be subtle, but it's it stands out. It can really, really stand out in a woven piece. And when we're looking at um, the the our underlying fabric, one subtle change can change the whole temperament of of the. Um, of the fabric. I, I guess this is a, this is a, not the best analogy. <laughs> um, if maybe fabric isn't the, the best thing. Maybe, maybe a pebble in a pond is a better uh, metaphor here. So um, 
Rosalind says, once you see it, you cannot unsee it. Yeah, I love that. Thank you. You helped me a lot there, Rosalind. It's true. So what what happens is, um, Dido's telling me, good morning, good morning, April. Wow. How great to have you joining us. It's been quite a time, quite a long time. Um, I just got a message that the live video ended. Is that so? Are you guys not seeing the live video? Oh, Dido says I'm back. Thank you, Dido. Good morning. It's great to have you here with us this morning. So I, I don't know what happened there, but um, welcome, April, and welcome, Dido. And we're talking about subtleties. And um, once you see it, you can't see it. I'm going to run with that, Rosalind. So when we have an awareness that is different about how, how we are, how life is, it may be a subtle shift. It may feel like a fractional degree of a shift. But if we look, for instance, at a rocket and the trajectory of a rocket, having it be off a fraction of a degree over time in that trajectory becomes greater and greater. And it has a more and more dramatic impact over time. And so those subtleties of transformation within us, it can be just a fractional click that then populates out. If we look at a pebble in a pond, you see the ripples and the ripples just extend and extend and extend. And it changes the surface. Ultimately, it, pot it can potentially change the whole surface of that pond, right? Because there are echoes of those ripples throughout. And I think that when, when these subtle shifts and changes occur for us, we often don't recognize them or we don't recognize the potential import that they have, the potential um, for our greater transformation. And I think what we get to notice is that our own evolution is incremental. Sometimes it can be really radical. Sometimes there can be kind of like a before and after um good morning robin wow we've got a whole bunch of people here that we haven't seen for a long time how wonderful is that it's really great to have you joining us so um we're having a party today i love it so the there are times in our lives where we can actually say before and after but the thing is those subtleties even though we don't recognize them, can also be those kinds of turning points that radically shape us. And what we've been talking about a lot lately is noticing the things, the experiences, the perspectives that shape us and that we for better or for worse, um, that we are not even present to. And so I don't know if you've had the experience where you sense that something's different. You sense that something has changed, but you not you can't always put your finger on it. And yet there's there's an internal shift. So um, I've been doing these visualization exercises 
as part of part of um, limbic system retraining. And I, I didn't know if I was going to share this this morning or not. But um, I, I know I shared, I think it was yesterday I shared about an experience that I had when I was 15 of like this expansive beingness, this, I call it my enlightenment experience, where it was just transcendent. It was transcending all the human limitations, whatever. So I was doing, I was doing a uh, visualization this morning and I was walking on a path in the woods and there was, it was very green. There was a canopy above, so it was kind of dark and there were woods on either side of the path. And as I was walking down the path, I saw this magnificent stag with incredible antlers, just so regal, so magnificent. And I stopped and he stopped and we looked at one another and we were communicating and he said, welcome. He said, welcome home. And I just broke down in tears. It was quite shocking to me to recognize um, that, you know, to, to feel the depth of that experience, that welcome home. And the stag and I walked toward one another and he allowed me to touch his forehead and there was this beautiful communication and we we touched forehead to forehead and there was just this feeling of finally being able to relax and to to feel like i was at home and so you might ask why why is she talking about this i'm not sure i it's just it was so powerful that i had to share it and yesterday we were talking about this enlightenment experience so of course after this experience which like the the movement the the communion with this this stag it was it had an air of subtlety about it right um because there wasn't a lot there wasn't any verbal communication there was this imaginal space but anyway i had to look up what a stag represents and one of the things that the stag represents was enlightenment and that's pretty interesting i thought you know it's like this is this is what my life has been about um we we get clues we get clues um so the subtle element of this experience is that there was a a shift in me and it doesn't it it doesn't it's both subtle and profound because i can't particularly articulate it in the way that i feel in my body uh in the way that my nervous system maybe started to to relax i can't say that all tension is gone. I can say that the change from this, there's something subtle about it, and yet something tremendously profound. And this is something that I encounter a lot with clients, where they'll say, 
this work is subtle. And yet there are these profound shifts in, in the surface of that water where the pebble's been dropped that may seem really delicate but it's impacted the entire surface of the pond. And um, this, this sense of something, something simple that is, is impacting the surface of our pond, not just the surface, but the whole frequency of the pond, this one little pebble with these, these ripples moving outward and, and um, changing the whole topography. And so it may be a very small ripple, but it emanates. And I wonder if you can look in, in your lives to notice these profoundly subtle or subtly profound moments where something happens, maybe we make a decision or we make a determination about something and maybe the, it doesn't even register that we've made that shift, that we've made that decision, that we've had that reaction. And yet that moment has consequences that ripple out into our lives. So the question that I ask people on the very first session that I do with them with the core connection work is this, what in your way of being, if it were to change, would be life altering? So these are, these are the pebbles that we can drop in the pond that are going to change everything. So what in your way of being, if it were to change, would be life altering. So we can be looking at, for instance, if I had more confidence. So what would it feel like? Let's say that's, that's something that would make a difference in every element of your life. What would it look like to have more confidence? How would you stand if you had confidence? You would probably be more upright. How would you speak if you had more confidence? What would be going on with your shoulders if you had more confidence? And I'm asking these questions so that you can step into that experience. And the thing is that if we practice this, subtleties, right? There's the subtlety of, of experience that shifts when we sit more upright, when we pull our shoulders back, when we lift our head up. There are subtleties, we call it subtle, but it's pretty dramatic, of being that change and that allow us a new experience. And as we make those subtle changes, if we allow ourselves to propagate them, to cultivate them, to practice them, what happens is that those ripples become bigger and bigger and they reach further and further. And in truth, what we're doing is we're literally repatterning our brain 
and our being by these experiences that we can cultivate for ourselves, by these pebbles that we can drop deliberately in the pond, by allowing ourselves to connect with our, our tremendously powerful being. So in this visualization that I was doing, um, that stag just showed up. What I did was I allowed myself to be in a place of receptivity. And when we allow that of ourselves to be cultivating, deliberately cultivating an environment where, where magic can happen, you know, all I was doing was I was imagining myself going for a hike in the woods. And then what came to mind was this, this stag. We have the ability to tap into the richness of our other than, con other than conscious wisdom. And it can, the, the subtlety, um, it may feel profound, it may feel subtle. The thing that we're looking at, like for me, the subtlety about this was not the visualization, but the shift in me. Like there was a shift. It felt, I, I, it, I can't quite touch it, but it's there. And by recognizing that, I can, I can elevate it, okay? By recognizing the subtle shifts, we can feed them or we can maybe redirect them because sometimes those subtle shifts are shifts of contraction and we don't necessarily notice them. And then we contract more and we contract more. We need to, it, 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 the sooner we can notice those shifts and engage with them in a way that either nurtures them or redirects them, the sooner we can be shaping, the, the more malleable those those shifts are right the earlier we catch them the more malleable they are and so we can we can be actively engaged in nurturing those shifts that are life-giving and we can be redirecting those shifts that might be closing us down and um, limiting, limiting us. So it's kind of like being a gardener where we, we get to help to nourish. Well, actually, you know, just to work along with the earth, right? And maybe there are some, some plants that we want to prune and there may be others that we there may be weeds we want to remove and um there may be things that we can do to nourish the soil and or or maybe even you know just to support that growth so I guess the point is that subtleties aren't necessarily so subtle. And the more we can recognize them, the more that we have the ability or cultivate the ability to be aware of our inner lives and, and what, what does it feel like, for instance, when there is a sense of relief? What does it feel like? if we're in a moment of fear, how do we 
how are we cultivating that fear rather than allowing it to redirect, allowing ourselves to redirect it. And, and one of the ways that we can redirect it for some people, for many of us, facing that fear and allowing it to transform many of us that helps and and makes a big difference for others of us just cultivating joy or cultivating comfort uh, cultivating peace or confidence that can sort of counteract the fear for instance so by recognizing the signs, we can then interact as is appropriate. So um, subtleties, we get to sort of pay more attention and allow ourselves to be active in the shaping of our lives. So that's it for this morning. I'm Nero Rubin. This is The Core Connection. And I go live here each weekday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern on the Enlightened World Network Facebook page and YouTube channel, my Facebook page, Mira Rubin. Um, please like and follow Enlightened World Network, um, the YouTube channel, and the same for me, my YouTube channel. Um, please like and follow. The, the links are in the description. And that would be so greatly appreciated. Robin says, everyone has a part to give back to the universe. Give of yourself in a positive way. Love yourself and others. Blessings to you. And blessings to all of us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is always a tremendous privilege and pleasure to be able to share these mornings together to explore life and being human. So until next time, so much love to you.